Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Vicious, and welcome to Starbound. So, I am with you guys now to do a little Let's Play series on Starbound. Uh, looks like they uh, just came out with the newest patch, which is called Furious Koala. And this was the big patch that everybody was waiting for, because this patch contained the final wipe for all your characters and items and such, and opens up a lot of new changes to the engine. Uh, so I figured with this big patch coming out, this is the best time to start playing a new character, and it's also the best time to start a series. So I've been waiting on doing that series for a while, and I wanted to do a from start to end adventure with you guys. Kind of like what I used to do with Dungeon Defenders a long time ago. So I'm literally going to start a new character today, and we'll play through until what is considered the end of the game. And in between, we'll throw in some guides and tutorials as separate videos. So, let's see, if you're not familiar with Starbound, it's like a Terraria clone. So it's a mining RPG type deal. You might even call it uh, similar to Minecraft, even though it's much more like Terraria. Uh, a couple of my friends play it, so we'll probably get some multiplayer action in here at some point in time. So, instead of talking too much of the menu, main menu, we'll start creating a character. And while we're doing that, I can talk to you a little bit more about some other stuff going on. We do have six character species to choose from, both male and female. I am not sure at this point if there's any difference in the uh, species you choose. I know they have different racial armor abilities, but I think you can wear other races' armor just fine. But I'm going to go with an uh, Apex uh, guy here. That's fine, because I know that I want their racial armor just in case. And I already created a male character, so I might as well make a female character this time. Alright, so what's getting me on here today, just so you guys know, is uh, I just, I'm changing over to a, a new job. So I have two weeks of time to kind of be around the house and get stuff done that I would have not had, which is, you know, why I don't play much these days, just so busy with real life stuff. So I'm excited about that. Uh, I will put in probably, you know, two hours a day to, to this stuff, and then the rest of the day into stuff that has to get done and there's a lot I want to get my uh, a plus certification done before I start the new job and let's see looking at all these little pixel shirts here a plus cert I'm almost ready to take that test I just want to make sure I brush up on it before I go take those exams and then vicious computer is my other YouTube channel that one is lacking content a lot worse than the, uh, the gaming channel so we need to get some stuff up for that and I do have lots of videos ready to go i just had to have the time to record them and that's hard to do regular everyday stuff with uh recording i can't break out the camera and start recording when you know the family's here and uh, the kids are running around and stuff like that let's see Very bland and gray looking, but that's okay. That looks alright. Oh, let's name this character. Why not Koala? Because that's the first thing I see. The patch notes. All right, there we go. We've got a new character created, and we'll start off a brand new game. So you're going to start off with, you know, nothing. You get a few quests to do, and there's our quest dialogue right there. And we're starting on a starter planet, which is totally random as far as I know. The uh, universe is huge. You go to different coordinates, and those different coordinates in the universe have different planets. If you were talking Minecraft terms, those are like the seeds, how you can create a universe by putting different seeds into the game's engine. Well, you're basically doing that when you put coordinates in. Uh, let me give you an idea about my experience on this game. I am by no means a expert. I have not gotten past the beta sector, which is the second area. So I have not experienced much of the game yet, which means you get to see it for the first time and explore it with me. However, on the same note, I've at least played through the beta sector, so I know enough of what I'm doing that 
I'm not going to be fumbling around at the beginning of the, uh, the Let's Play, which is kind of boring sometimes if I didn't know anything of what to do. So I can kind of walk you through it as a guide to get you started, or you can just simply watch it because it's entertaining. So either way, I'm glad you're here. Our first quest was simply just to go into our storage and get that device. And now it wants us to um, build a table. But for that we'll need wood. So it says you'll need to uh, go down to the planet basically. And we need to go down there to find fuel for our ship. Otherwise we could never fly anywhere. We'll be stuck here forever. Let's hope that my starting planet is a good one. The last character I created was a really lucky planet. I found both of my techs on the very first planet. I found the uh, dash and I found the, the pulse jump both on the very first planet. That was awesome. Looks like we've got um, low gravity here. It looks like snow. I really hope it's not because I would probably die from that without warm clothes on. Some friendly mobs. Not everything tries to attack you. Here we go. Some trees. So we'll go ahead and use this matter manipulator. And cut down these trees. This is the slowest mining device that you'll ever have. It's ridiculously slow about everything that it does. So luckily we don't have to use this for very long. I would say between these two trees and that stone that's right there, that cobblestone, I would probably have enough materials that I can craft at least the uh, very first pickaxe, which will help us do this stuff faster, and a hatchet to cut down the trees. We've got uh, day and night cycles in this game, so it does go to night. And at night time is when it's most dangerous to be out. Stronger mobs will come about, um, and it's much harder to see. Generally speaking, I'm always looking for stuff to mine, like here's some coal down here. So I don't like traveling at night because you can't really see anything as far as resources. But unfortunately, if you um, want to sit and wait through the night cycle, it can take quite a long time. So sometimes I'm forced to just kind of move through the night cycle. If you go back to your ship during the night cycle, that's one option. But uh, when you come back down to the planet, you always come back to your original spawn point. That's the obviously, I think, the, the worst thing for me so far. And I'm surprised they haven't implemented a way that you can spawn back onto the planet at your last known location. Maybe they've added it in this patch, and I just don't know about the, the new item that you would need to do that. This here, I would recommend uh, these roots. If you see these in your starter levels, you get all of these. And these are like, hmm, they're very valuable because they can be crafted into bandages, which is one of the most uh, cheap ways to heal yourself from damage. You can make so many of them. My other character has like 500 bandages, uh, so I don't really have to be worried about spamming them. Um, they don't heal you completely or anything, but it's a lot better than nothing. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and uh, come over here and we'll craft some stuff together. Alright, this looks good enough. So, crafting table. The quest told us that we need to build this crafting table. And as you can see, it takes 35 wood planks. The wood planks take the unrefined wood that we just got from those trees. So I'm going to turn all of those unrefined wood into planks real quick. And now we can do the table. Alright, that quest is done. And now it's telling us to 
that we need to get food by killing monsters with a bow. Well, let's sit on this craft table real quick. And now with this table, we can do a lot more stuff than we could before. You can see uh, metal workstation is on here. We've got torches. We've got, uh, there's the bow. There's bandages I was just telling you about. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and craft some of those. Most important things on here that we're going to get now, we need a pickaxe and an axe. Those two tools are the two things that you'll use, well, at least the pickaxe, you will use constantly. Uh, I usually put mine on nine. Trying to move it. There we go. Now we don't have to use that horrible matter manipulator anymore. We can do some much faster mining. And let's go hunt for resources because we don't have what we need to make the bow. I think we need some iron for that. You can get lucky and get meat from a mob uh, with killing it with your random weapon of choice, but it's a very low probability. So one of the first things I noticed when I started this new patch yesterday, uh, the, the enemies now have special abilities, which is something they never had before. And some of those abilities are quite mean. Um, the body slam or whatever, anti-gravity slam, it throws you way up in the air and then slams you down. There is fall damage in this game, so if you're unlucky enough to be thrown from a high point to a low point, that's instant death from a regular mob, and that actually happened to me, so that was... A rude way to find out about the new abilities. I can hear something in there that doesn't sound very happy. I do have a flashlight somewhere. There it is. We'll put that on three. So we can kind of see a little bit with the flashlight here. Alright, tip number one for you guys. Early, early game levels, before you go too deep in the ground, using your pickaxe, you can right click to mine out the background instead of using the left click to mine out the foreground. If you do that, it's basically a free light source for going underground to get a few things. And since you're going to be after these vines and any uh, minerals that are easy to get to, that's definitely the way to go because you don't want to be having to mess with torches so early in the game you won't have the materials necessary. If you need to get something like this, um, like that coal that's in front of me, you can just kind of jump up and get it. Or if it's stuff that's going to take a really long time to mine, you can uh, actually just build yourself a block to stand on. There's actually quite a bit here. More than I thought. Coal is your... Am I even getting coal at this point? Okay. Coal is your fuel source for your ship. So if you want to travel to other planets, you're going to need this stuff. And it's uh, used to make torches, so it's very useful for that. And it has a few other uses, so grabbing it whenever you see it's always a good idea, because you're going to end up using it one way or the other. Weapon-wise, that's my starter sword. It's a two-handed overhand sword. You get one-handed weapons with different attack angles, and you can even find guns in this game. So if you're a gun user, you can definitely have use of a gun. The uh, warning about guns is they use your energy. It's that green bar underneath of my health. So you can't endlessly shoot unless you have really good energy levels, and that's going to be a matter of equipment. I tend to stick with melee weapons until I have to shoot something that's flying just because too many times I'll be shooting something on the ground and run out of energy and find myself in a very tough situation. 
It looks like we found a little bit of silver here too. The process of just running along the planet's surface and grabbing any minerals you can see is basically surface mining. And that's what you'll be doing at the beginning of the game because you don't want to be diving too deep into it. And you don't need anything that's necessarily deep down in the planet's surface. <clears throat> Man, music gets loud during the attacks. And then the other thing is, you don't know what you'll find. That might be very useful. You might find a, a village. You might find a, some kind of laboratory or dungeon. Everything is so randomly generated. You might find some really, really useful and awesome things um, by just going along the planet's surface. And that's why it's not a bad thing. Let's just take your time and check everything out. there. Some copper here. You guys are going to see a lot of this. It's just mining away at materials and such, and that's just the nature of the game. So I hope that I can entertain you enough outside of that to keep watching the show. I would like to do this as a live stream. That would be ideal. Then you guys could just talk to me and ask me questions. But the reason I'm not doing this as a live stream is because um, Deagle, one of my co-casters, told me that YouTube has discontinued use of comments on live streams. I haven't checked it myself, but I trust him as a reliable source of information. So that means even if I was live streaming this on YouTube, you guys can't comment. And I stopped streaming to uh, a Twitch a long time ago because I got really sick of all the random performance issues. My streams would start lagging, uh, skipping frames and dropping frames and such just because the uh, ingestion server couldn't handle my uh, bit rate and streaming settings. What's the point of having a really nice computer and a nice uh, internet setup if you're gonna destroy the quality of your your footage just for the sake of streaming it live? And then chances are I wouldn't have that many people watching <clears throat> because it's I'm not a big name in streaming anymore. I'm too busy to maintain that. So what I can do though is get these first few episodes out as a local recording which gives you higher quality video and then try to build a little bit of interest and if you guys get enough interest in this then i can try to do a couple live streams which one i'll go back to youtube or uh twitch that's hard to say i don't know i liked youtube uh, except for the fact that it was slow to get started Turn down the game volume a little bit here. this deep dark hole some uh, iron at least one thing that wants to kill me it sounds like it's getting dark outside 
I'll change that gun. There's all the light I have in here. 